Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now keep in mind that this reading may not be for you, and the timing is fluid, okay? This is going to be for the month of May. It could happen at any time in May. If I say week, it's because I usually do weeklies too. So if I say week, this is for the month of May. It could happen during the week, at any week, okay? Um, you may have thought that this was never going to happen. And as I was sitting here getting ready to do your reading, I kept, I kept saying that to myself. Um, you may have thought this was never going to happen. And I said it multiple times and, and knowing that you, you know, I'm getting ready to do your reading. So there is something that you may have thought that was never going to happen. You know, things have been busy. It's been crazy. It's been nuts. Well, now it's time. It's finally time. It's time for something to happen. Okay. Um, you've waited long enough. Whatever it is, now it's time. So let's get started. get this party started so what do we have for Capricorn Sun Moon rising and Venus for May oh well <laughs> well bad advice I am gonna buy a new camera here whenever I get the time maybe in May bad advice from a friend or a family member so you've received some bad advice from somebody, but I feel this is my past position. So immediately putting it in the past position, you've obviously received some bad advice, which is going to be, you know, something we're probably going to talk about during this reading. You need to listen to your gut. You need to do, you need to do what you want to do, not what your friend thinks you should do, not what your parents think you should do, not what uh, anybody thinks you should do, but you. So, okay, that's too many. We're not gonna take those. These cards are so big; it's really hard for me. Um, I like them; they're just too big. I do have my, on my other shield for the window but have had time to put that up maybe that's gonna happen in may i happen to be capricorn moon i am gonna put it up as soon as i am ready to go get my nails done because there's a darn good chance i'll break my nail so right before i get my nails done that will you know i have to prioritize anyhow um i have to do things in order anyhow what are we and that's the thing it's interesting because every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading so things have to be done at the right time. And timing, this is about timing. It's the right time for something to be done. Everything has to be in order. And maybe that's why there's been some sort of delay. Strength. Strength is a card of courage, bravery, discipline, determination. Um... Confidence, okay? I feel like um, you have a lot to be grateful for, and I feel like it's it's time for you to receive something. And I usually don't see that with the strength card, but I, I really feel it very strongly. I feel like you're going to need to master. I think you're going to be in a good place, too. You're going to be mastering your emotions. You're going to be really, really happy. It feels like you're going to be in a really happy place. You've overcome something. Strength is the, is the courage and the confidence and the willpower to overcome something that has been difficult. Okay, obviously something has happened that has been extremely difficult. This is perseverance. This is um, seeing things differently. It's just being grateful for where you're at at this time. So I really feel like you're going to be in a really good place. You're going to be leaving some bad advice behind you. You're probably going to be contemplating on that bad advice. The struggle is real. <laughs> the struggle is real. It is. Even the strength, even it is. I mean, the struggle is real, but things are going to get better. You, you obviously are overcoming some sort of hurdle.
take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into a decision you are about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. Now this kind of reiterates what I said right here. Don't, don't take advice from anybody but yourself during this time because if you do, it will not be good advice. The best advice comes from you. It comes from within. It comes from your gut. It doesn't come from anybody but you. You know what you need to do if you dig deep and you listen to your intuition. All you might have to do is quiet your mind and the answer will come to you. So I do believe you're, this is obviously making a decision. You're going to be making a decision this month. And you're going to need time to, and time, again, you're going to need time to uh, think about this decision. Because I feel like it's a life-changing decision. Obviously, in this card, it's a life-changing situation. Okay? So, I do believe that you are going to need to restrain yourself. You're going to need to uh, take a time out to reflect on whatever it is that you're deciding to do. Um... Do not let anybody hold you back or tell you that you shouldn't do this. If your gut, if your heart, if your desire says that you want to do it, then you should do it. So, what do we have for Capricorn? We're going to take these. Ace of Wands reverse, Four of Swords reverse. Now the Ace of Swords reversed is something going south, not coming to fruition. Um, Four of Swords reversed is uh, frustrated, exhausted, and fed up. It's time to live again. I feel like you've been in a period of stagnation. I do believe that you have been through a period of stagnation. I feel like somebody has weighed you down. This is being weighed down. Uh, by a situation that was very painful or hurtful because the Three of Swords comes before the Four of Swords. I feel like maybe you've been grieving over a loss or something like that, but it's time to live. It's time to get up and live and, and just go for something. Do not allow yourself to be weighed down by a dead-end situation. Maybe something has ended that has caused you a lot of despair or heartache or grief. Everything happens for a reason. Um... <laughs> I feel like there is somebody that has been weighing you down. And I don't know if this person is ill. You could be dealing with somebody even that is, is sick. I mean, the Four of Swords can represent sickness. This could be Ill, Ill health as well. This is health declining. If that, maybe that's you in the past, but it could also be somebody that you're dealing with. Um, you could even be dealing, I mean, the Four of Swords is mental. And, and there's health here. And that's bad advice from a friend or family member. You know, I think that you need to be careful with who you listen to put it that way um you've been weighed down by and maybe you've just been tired or you've been exhausted or you are fed up with life you know you're fed up with where things have been things have not been growing they haven't been go going in the right direction I feel like you've obviously been in a period of stagnation but I see that it's over I really 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 feel like it is over six of cups reversed Ten of Swords reversed. Eight of Cups reversed. And no, my deck is not reversed. We get reversals when there's an absence of something or something is in extreme. I feel like they're obviously the Ten of Swords in reverse is liberation. It is freedom. It is, it is literally, I do believe in this case, it's getting up. It's getting up and doing something. I feel like there's been some sort of reminiscing about the past. You may be really reminiscing about what has happened in your past still in the future with the Six of Cups reversed. I feel like uh, this is Eight of Cups reversed is... avoiding something avoiding walking away from something do not walk away yeah, interesting I feel like you have to make a decision and it has to do with staying somewhere you may be thinking about somebody from your past when you have a new opportunity here
you know, we get the Eight of Cups reversed right next to the Ten of Cups or Ten of Swords reversed. Something could be coming back around from your past. Or you're really reminiscing about the past. This is something coming back from the dead. This is something coming back as well. Something may have ended or it didn't come to fruition or it didn't grow. Maybe it was bad timing. Maybe it was bad timing. Maybe somebody was too busy. Anyhow, I do believe that the uh, Six of Cups reverse, that is an absence of, uh, well, it's a, an absence of harmony um, because of the past. Something hasn't been going in the right direction. It's time to free yourself from something. Stop wasting your time. You're, somebody is wasting their time on the past. Oh my goodness gracious. You're going to have to be strong and master your emotions and focus on the future. The Six of Cups reverse is clinging to the past. Nothing stays the same. This is freedom from obligation. You're free. You're free from something. Consider this freedom. Don't go back to the past. Don't repeat the past mistakes. You're going to have to be strong, obviously. There could be somebody from your past that really, really hurt you that is asking for an apology or they're giving you an apology or they're saying they're sorry or they want another chance. I feel like this is going to be a tough decision for you. I feel like there's somebody here that is sick as well. They may be ill, you know, maybe maybe they're unhealthy and this is this is somebody who doesn't give you good advice. This is somebody who may enjoy control over you. They may enjoy the power over you. You could be dealing with a Leo. This person is not giving you good advice. I think that you need to beware. Three of Wands. Get prepared for something. There is something coming. Focus on the future. Do not focus on the past, Capricorn. Do not focus on the past. This is about expanding and focusing on the future. Get prepared. I feel like there is somebody that enjoys the power and the control that they have over you and it, they may be um, coming back around to take back control the three of cups page of wands you have a new suitor here when it, you have a new suitor this is somebody that is well suited for you you're, you 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 you're gonna you have an offer or an invite that is coming that is not this person from the past. You have two options here. You do. You absolutely do. I feel like you you have an opportunity to get together with somebody new, and I but I feel like there is somebody from your past that is trying to control your future. They're trying because they like the power and the control that they have over you. I do believe that you are going to be getting together with somebody that uh, could really make you happy. I'm not sure if you meet this person on social media or on a dating site or you just get go to some sort of get together or gathering, you meet this person there. I do believe there's going to be some sort of celebration in the near future. You're going to be receiving a message or an opportunity that is exciting, that can grow, but I think that you tend to lose your focus because of somebody from the past. Do not let this past hold you back. You know what the past usually does is when they see that you're moving on, when they see that you're doing good, that's, that's when they step in to see if they still have control. So I think that you may be dealing with that. Oh, 
And I think what happens is, is that sometimes you think about going back to somebody in the past. And if you're married and you're in a happily ever after relationship, you know, maybe this reading isn't for you. There is something coming that you have been waiting for. But I feel like, or this has arrived, it may have arrived already. You're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to be brave. And you're going to need to be have willpower, perhaps, to step into new territory. And I don't need the fool card. We have somebody here that is refusing to move on. You know, with the Eight of Cups reversed, they're refusing to move on from something when it is time to move on from a dead end situation. You do have an exciting opportunity. You're going to be, you could be running into somebody or, or getting together with somebody and having fun and, you know, starting over. But there is somebody from the past that is weighing you down and holding you back. So I feel like this month you need to remain focused. There's bravery needed and, and this is a new discovery, is traveling in a new direction. We need to, you, you need to be fearless as well. Some of you just may be scared. You may be scared of the, because of the pain that was caused in the past. I do see pain here with the Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Absolutely, there's been some sort of betrayal and it's been a big one. Anyhow, you have an exciting offer or invitation or new opportunity right here in front of you. You must follow through. You must move forward. I feel like this, this shows a need. It shows a need to try new things, to do new things, a new adventure, take a new approach. I feel like you have somebody that you have a lot in common with that has burst into your world or they are about to burst into your world and you are considering it, but there's somebody, I don't know if it's a friend or a family member that says, oh no, you shouldn't. Maybe, maybe they're jealous or they still want some sort of power or control over you. Either way, you've got some good news arriving. There's no doubt about it with that page of wands. That is good news arriving. This is something to celebrate with the three of cups. This is like a new friendship. You know, it could be a friendship that turns into something more. I feel like you have been waiting. You've been waiting for, you know, happiness, right? This is waiting and this is happiness. It's a, it, there's happiness here. This is an exciting new adventure. But you're going to have to have courage and you need to stop looking at the past. Stop focusing on the past and focus on the future. I feel like there's also somebody here that wants a reunion. May have been hoping for a reunion with somebody from the past. There's The past is here, okay? There's no doubt about it. This is hoping and, and this is the past. You know... Don't focus on the past, please. Please, 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 please. Bottom of the deck, two of cups reversed. Now that is a separation. That is a uh, breakup or a fight or an argument or there's no equality or there's no un unity. This is disharmony in a partnership. It's incompatibility. I feel like you have somebody here that you are not compatible with that either you are focusing on them or they are focusing on you. And you have another opportunity here with somebody that is better suited for you. I do think that you will be traveling in a new direction. I do. I feel like you will be breaking free from this, but I don't think it's going to be easy. I think the struggle is going to be real because they're either this person from the past is going to try to come back around to regain control over you 
or you are going or you're still reminiscing you're romanticizing the past with that six of cups reverse somebody here is romanticizing the past which is stopping them from um going in a new direction that's where that's why things have gone south there's no growth because you know this is a dead end somebody has been in a dead end situation and there is a need to focus on the future anyhow i do believe that you are going to be getting together with somebody that uh, maybe it's a new friend and i think that this is exciting and you need to take a new approach one more card for Capricorn. You're going to be put in a tough position, obviously, because of this card. Stop. Take time to think. And you are going to be thinking because you're going to be given an opportunity that is fruitful. Okay, this is like somebody bursting into your world. But it will require you to stop thinking about the past or stop going back to the past or whatever that past is. Six of Swords, move on. That is your, that's it. It's time to move on. It's a time of transition. This is moving away, taking a journey, taking a new approach, headed towards balance and harmony, moving towards something that is more peaceful and more enjoyable and more uh, serene. Leaving behind the trouble, leaving behind the troubled waters, right? Going to a better place, moving to a better place. Some of you may be traveling or moving, literally traveling or moving to a better place. Leaving something behind that was very familiar to you. Could, just, could have to do with a home. Maybe you're moving home. It's going to take courage and willpower and discipline To change your destination, to change your future. So I feel like you're going to be making a decision this month that will bring you happiness should you decide to just go for it. Follow your gut and nobody else. Good luck.